episode 3,548, How Much Do You Really Love Your Spouse? Moms, it's time to rediscover, rejuvenate, and renew who you are in mind, body, and spirit. Welcome to Create Your Now, Your Best Selfie, the show to help you do just that. Here's your host, certified life coach, personal trainer, and nutritionist, Christiane Wargo. Happy, happy day. I hope you're having a fabulous weekend, maybe actually experiencing a little drier weather. Oh my goodness, for those of you who have experienced Hurricane Helene and Milton, know we are praying for you. If you have the financial resources to donate to those who are helping the hurricane victims, I would really encourage you to do so. There's much work to be done in rebuilding these cities here in the U.S. You know, today is all about the person you're sleeping with, your relationship, your marriage. How are you showing up? Are you one who says, oh, I'm all in? Or do you kind of do it when, well, you feel like it? How much do you really love your spouse? For those of you who are brand new to Creature Now, welcome to this incredible family. I'm so delighted of your presence. If you already had the opportunity, you want to head on over to CreatureNow.com where you can learn more and sign up for the Kisses newsletter. The Keep It Simple Strategy, Everyday Solutions to Live, Love, and Impact. Well, this episode is brought to you by AIM, Inspiring Connection and Community. Well, I just want to lead off right now and say, your relationship should not be a football game. I love football, but you should not be playing football when it comes to your marriage. It's not about keeping score. But oftentimes, this is what I find, is that we live our lives from assumptions. We assume a lot of things, but when assumptions lead the heart, that's one of the first breaks that occur. If you want your marriage to last, how much do you really love your spouse? And... Does your spouse know it? You see, that's the catch. A lot of times when we think our spouse knows how much we love them, we don't usually put the effort. And remember, assumptions can wreck your heart, right? Destroying precious moments and memories, leaving only a pile of dust. It's the rubbish pile. And you think you're telling your spouse all these things, but no, not really. And your spouse is walking around going, gosh, I'm really being taken for granted here. I don't get any recognition. Not that they're looking at getting a trophy or an Emmy or anything like that, but in all honesty, no marriage should suffer with dust bunnies unless it's the ones you swept under the bed, right? We all got to sweep those under the bed. Marriage takes work and more work than one thinks. Life is too precious and so is your marriage. And when I look at all of the chaos of what these storms have brought in, it's another reminder that we have got to pay attention to what's happening within the privacy of our own four walls and our own homes. We're missing what's right in front of us. So it's about time you really love your spouse the way they deserve. That is your kiss to keep it simple strategy. Love the way your spouse deserves. It's not about saying, okay, this is what I need all the time. What about what they need? What if you were to put them first for once? And I'm not saying that you have to go over the top, but man, if you don't show them love, How do you think your husband's going to respond? Pretty soon he's going to feel like, I'm just being taken for granted. I'm just the money machine. Or, wow, I'm around, but they don't pay attention to me. I'm gone all the time. I travel. Mom, what about you? You're like, I deal with the dinner dishes and dogs and let's throw in the kiddos on top of that. And the laundry. And I work. Well, hubby's. Are you paying attention to your wifey? I mean, like seriously, love the way your spouse deserves because quite frankly, we're living life in that assumption world. And we think we're saying, I love you or showing it enough. And I'm not saying you have to go out and buy diamond rings. I'm not saying that's a bad thing either, but we'll leave that for another episode. What I'm saying is, are you sharing your heart? Are you genuine in how you communicate Are you genuine how you show up in the privacy of your own four walls? Or are you just a little turd? Are you a jerk? I mean, come on, let's be real. I don't care if you're male or female. How are you showing up? This is important because if we are living under the world of assumptions, that's going to get us all into trouble. And then all of a sudden you wonder why they come to you later and it's like, I've fallen out of love. Where did that come from? We've got to be expressive. We've got to show up for each other. 
And yeah, sometimes that means someone's got to be the first one to start and it might be you. Is that unfair? Yeah, it kind of is. But what did I say at the very tippy tippy top of this episode? Your marriage is not a football game. I love football, but you're not keeping score. You've got to get off the sidelines too and get in on the game of life when it comes to your marriage. And let me tell you, there's only two people that are playing in your marriage, except the third is God. Okay, but I'm talking about two physical people right here in the room. Okay, it's you and your spouse. So what does it look like to love the way your spouse deserves? Number one, share more than you tattle. And what I mean by that is, are you really sharing your genuine feelings? And I'm saying in a kind way, I'm saying, wow, you know, you look really hot in that. Whatever it is that is just like, oh, thank you so much for just doing the dishes. I know there was only like three or four in there, but just me being able to walk in and having a clean kitchen, thank you so much. Okay, that's sharing. This is tattling. Oh, man, why won't you just pick up your daggum socks? You know, you always do this and then you run down the list and then guess what? The conversation can, carries over to who? Oh, let me tell you. The kids, the dogs, the kitty cats, sometimes even the neighbors and best friends and then it goes to the in-laws. Really? Do we need to carry on those conversations? Share with your spouse more than you tattle to others. Communication is the bedrock of any healthy relationship. Take the time to express your feelings and thoughts to your spouse. Be kind to them. Love them in a manner that they will receive it. Ensuring that your husband knows how much you value and care for him. How much does your wife really know that you are just head over heels about her? Maybe you need to communicate it via an IG reel. I don't care how you do it, but do it. Do it, do it, do it. Just do it. We're taking a page from Nike. Just do it. Being open about your feelings and thoughts allows your spouse to truly understand the depth of your love. I've been with my hubby for oh, almost 35 years, believe it or not. I know it's kind of crazy thinking about it that way. We dated three and a half years before we said I do. And we just this past August, we celebrated 31 years. So we're almost at 35 years coming February, this coming up February of 2025. It'll be 35 years we've been together. That is a long time. Committed to one person. You better believe we have shared more than we've tattled. Now, I'm not saying there hasn't been some tattling in there, but we definitely have shared more. Or we wouldn't be where we are today. What are you doing in your marriage? What does it look like? Are you sitting there having those under the breath conversations with the puppy dog sitting next to you? Oh, Rhino, you would never believe this. I mean, like seriously, he's such a jerk. If he would just understand what I'm doing. And then you go jump in the shower, right? I mean, come on, let's be real. Be honest where you are. Do you have those conversations under your breath? Or are you one who says, oh, no, Christiane, I am so good. Great if you are. Fabulous. Cheer yourself on and keep doing it. But I guarantee you, 85% of us are not doing this. We're tattling more than we're sharing. And you wonder why we have broken down families, why we have kids that are hurting, because all they do is hear their parents argue. When are you going to come together and love the way your spouse deserves? Number two, show more than you ask. This is all about gratitude. It's easy to take our spouses for granted in the hustle and bustle of our everyday life, right? Our daily life just gets the best of us and we leave all the leftovers for our spouse. You've got to make a conscious effort every single time you wake up. How can I serve my spouse? How can I love them more? What can I do for you today? That is the best question. How can I serve you, sweetheart? What can I do for you today? Those two questions, oh man, yes, that's going to go a long way. But you have to make that conscious effort to show appreciation for even the smallest gestures. Yes, so even if your hubby only does three dishes in the sink and leaves all the big ones that you use to cook dinner on the stove, thank him anyway and mean it. Seriously, a simple thank you or a surprise gesture can go a long way in making your spouse feel loved and valued. Maybe it's just coming up behind him while he's sitting on the couch and just giving him a kiss on the cheek 
or surprising him and jumping in his lap. Make sure you don't spill his drink or whatever like that because then that could be a catastrophe and that causes you more work. But you get the point, right? Think about how you showed up when you were dating and you saw him across the room and you're like, if only I could run into his arms. When was the last time you ran into his arms and just held him tight? Come on. Appreciation is the language of love that your spouse needs to hear daily. Did you hear me? Daily. You got to show more than you ask because most of the time what we're doing is, can you not go pick up this stuff? Can you go take care of the kids, please? Oh, will you go do this? I'm not saying those things don't happen, but when you have absolutely positively no form of thank you so much, that just took a big load off of my plate. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for taking an hour off of work. I know it put a pinch in the project that you're working on, but it really did help me today. Thanks, babe. It goes a long way. Share more than you tattle. Show more than you ask. And finally, number three, spend more than you save. And no, I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about time. We are living in a very busy, chaotic world. Everything is coming at us, including water, which we call hurricanes, which leave destruction behind. Sometimes we're forced in these positions. I'm not saying it's forces and like it it is, but because life happens at us, we're forced to have quality time. When you're cleaning up with your neighbor, when you've got a house that's total disaster, you're going to have some quality time together. You may not like it, but you're going to have it. You've got to find that time to spend with the one that you love the most, the one that you're sleeping with. Come on. Set aside that dedicated time each day to connect. Put down your phone, whether it's sharing a meal, going for a walk. Maybe it's simply giving Google eyes at each other. Do you remember those days when it's like, oh, that's so cute? When was the last time you winked at your husband? If you can wink, I can't wink. Shh, don't tell anybody. I try to, and he thinks it's cute. So when I do it, he gets it. But that's our little joke, right? That's the inside joke. When was the last time you played those little cute, sweet games that says, you know what? I love you. This is fun. When was the last time you finished each other's sentences? Because you're actually in the same room. If you travel a lot, man, make time to get on the phone together. FaceTime each other. When I travel, what does my husband do? He calls me and we FaceTime. And I I tuck him in because usually he goes to bed before I do, whether I'm traveling or not. And so if I'm there, I tuck him in. If I'm not, I tuck him in over the phone. It's just our little thing that we do. That quality time strengthens the bond between us. And it'll strengthen you too. And it also reinforces the foundation of love in the marriage. But you've got to spend more than you save. Because I think a lot of us are looking for that, oh, I'm going to save it until, oh, we're going to go on this special weekend trip. What if that weekend trip never comes because it's canceled? I've got a good friend I'm working with right now, and they had a full week vacation plan to go to Asheville, North Carolina. I kid you not. And they had reservations at the Biltmore. Well, they're not going there now. They had to make rearrangements, and they're now headed out to the West Coast. Wow. You see, they could have waited and done everything and said, oh, I'll just wait to express my true feelings when we go somewhere. But now the Biltmore, it won't be the same because now they have to go somewhere else. It probably will be nice too. But why can't every day be that nice? You don't have to wait for a special weekend, for a special engagement. Every day should be a special engagement when you see your spouse, whether it's your wife or your husband. Investing quality time in your marriage is like watering a plant. It thrives and grows with care and attention. So how are you loving your spouse? How are you showing up for them? Are you being generous with words? Are you being plain rude. I hope you're being generous, being kind and compassionate and authentically loving them right where they need to be loved. Because remember, loving your spouse is a continuous journey. And when you do it, let me tell you this, it's contagious and you'll want more of it. And that's the 
contagious spirit that you want to have in your marriage. But in order to have it, it requires effort and dedication. So be willing to make that conscious choice every day to really love your spouse. Go in peace, be present, be incredible, be you. I love you so very much. I cannot wait to see you on the other side. Blessings, hugs, and lots and lots of love. We'll talk to you real soon. Have a glorious, blessed day. Bye-bye. Feeling inspired, ready to train for life, and love your journey? Visit createyournow.com for more incredible resources to help you along the way. We'll see you next time on Create Your Now, Your Best Selfie. And remember, always be sure you consult your physician before beginning any health and fitness plan.